a very good morning to all today we are going to start with a new chapter chapter number 12 and the name of the chapter is soil so have you seen soil yes right so if you just look around you can see soil the land around us is covered with soil do you know what is soil soil as a thin layer of material on the earth surface soil is the layer of loose material that covers most of the earth's land so that is the thin layer of material on the earth's surface so is soil important to us yes it plays a very important role in the earth's ecosystem even we can say it is a life support system soil is our life support system so why do we say soil is our life support system there is a reason for that so where do plants grow plants grow in the soil and the soil supports the root of a plant and plants need water and nutrients right and this soil provides them water and nutrients for the plants to grow we human beings depend on plants for our food what about animals even animals depend on plants for our food so it is a life support system so what is soil soil is the thin layer of material on the earth surface so the land around us is covered with soil then soil it is a life support system it plays a very very important role in the earth's ecosystem so we learned what is soil but do you know how the soil has formed now let's learn about the formation of soil so the soil has formed millions of years ago and the formation of soil is not a slow process it is a very long process even we can say it is an ongoing process so how the soil is formed it formed millions of years ago millions of years ago the earth surface was covered with rocks there was no soil the whole land was covered with rocks so by the action of wind and rain these rocks got cracked and again by flowing water and by wind the cracks got widened and these rocks broke into larger pieces what happened these rocks broke into larger pieces then pebbles sand silt clay they were formed from rocks then what happened later on plants appeared on the land and their remains the dead remains of plants mixed with the particles of rocks and this is how soil has formed so first the earth surface was covered with full of rocks by the action of wind and rain these rocks got cracked then then later on these cracks got widened and it broke into larger pieces then gradually what happened pebbles sand silt they were formed from rocks then later on plants they appeared on the land and their remains also mixed with the particles of rocks this is how soil has formed it is not a slow process it is a very long process we can say it is an ongoing process so this is how soil has formed so we learned what is soil that is the thin layer of material on the earth surface and it is very very important to us then we learned how soil has formed now let's see what does the soil contain so the soil contain different materials it contains pebbles sand silt clay humus etc you know what is humus have you heard the term humus it means the dead remains of plants so that is called humus even that is present in the soil if you take some soil and mix it in the water you can see the pebbles sand silt all these particles get settled down at the bottom layer so these pebbles and sand 
has more weight. So they settle down at the bottom. And what about the silt? The silt has less weight when compared to sand. So it appears over the sand. Then the soil contains water and the soil contains humus. That is the dead remains of plants. In even that floats on the surface of the water. Then the soil contains air and water. So if you take a dry lump of soil and you mix it in the water, you can see the air bubbles coming out. So what does it mean? It contains air. So even it contains water. So when it rains, the soil collects rainwater and it is stored in the underground. So what does soil contain? Soil contains different materials. It contains pebbles, sand, silt, clay, humus, etc. Even it contains air and water. Now let's discuss about the different types of soil. So there are different types of soil such as the black soil, red soil, alluvial soil, laterite soil. So all these soils are formed from sediments brought down by the rivers. So today we are going to learn about the different types of soil based on their characteristics. So here you can see three different types of soil based on their characteristics such as sandy soil, clay soil and loamy soil. So today we are going to discuss in detail about these three types of soil which are the sandy soil, clay soil and loamy soil. So let's discuss each of them one by one. See the first one that is the sandy soil. So have you seen sandy soil? Where can we see this type of soil? We can see these type of soils in desert. Even places near the sea has sandy soil. So this sandy soil has higher proportion of sand. So sandy soil has higher proportion of sand. And they cannot fit closely together. And there are large spaces between the particles. There are large spaces between the sand particles. And these spaces are filled with air. So therefore, there is large water absorption. So therefore, there is high water absorption and water can be easily passed through the sand. And what about the plants that grow in this type of soil? So very few plants grow in the sandy soil. So that is about sandy soil. It contains a higher amount of sand. You can see in deserts and even places near the sea has sandy soil. Then there are large spaces between the particles. So therefore, there is high absorption, there is high water absorption and water can be easily passed through the sand. So that is about the first type of soil that is the sandy soil. Then the next one which is the next one that is the clay soil. So here it contains higher proportion of particles. So here it contains higher proportion of clay. In sandy soil we learnt that there are large spaces between the sand but in clay soil there is only less space between them. So what happens? The water gets trapped in the spaces between them. What happens? Water gets trapped between the particles because there is less space between them. Then another important thing is in summer we know that in summer it is very hot. In summer it becomes dry and as it becomes dry it turns hard. In summer the soil turns hard. Then what about the plants that grow in clay soil? Some plants only grow in clay soil. So that is about clay soil. Then, then which is the next type of soil? That is the loamy soil. So loamy soil contains mixture of sand, silt and it even contains good amount of humus. So what is humus? Humus means the dead remains of plants which is very suitable for the plants to grow. So in clay soil we learnt that water gets collected between the gaps but in loamy soil the water does not 
collect as easily as clay soil. Then most of the plants grow in loamy soil because it contains good amount of humus. That is the dead remains of plants which is very suitable for the plants to grow. So these are the three different types of soil based on characteristics. So which are they? The sandy soil, the clay soil and the loamy soil. So the sandy soil contains higher proportion of sand and it has large space between them. What about clay soil? Clay soil contains good amount of higher proportion of clay and it has less space between them and it collects water. Then what about in loamy soil? It contains good amount of humus which is very good for the plants to grow and it does not collect water as clay soil. So these are the three different types of soil. So what did we learn in this class? We learned about soil. So what is soil? So soil is a thin layer of material on the earth's surface and it is very very important to us. The land around us is covered with soil. We can say it is the life support system. Then we learned about the formation of soil. It is a very long process and it has formed millions of years ago. During that time, the earth's surface was covered with full of rocks. Then we learned about the three different types of soil and we learned what does the soil contain. What does the soil contain? It contains different materials like pebbles, sand, silt and air, water and even humus. So this is what we learned in this class. So I hope you are clear with it. In page number 118, there are four questions given. Clay soil, sandy soil gets cloaked with water. Cloaked means blocked. So which soil gets blocked with water? That is the clay soil. It has less space between the particles so that water gets blocked between the spaces. Second one, plants grow well in sandy soil, loamy soil. So which soil? It is in loamy soil. Third one, loamy soil is fertile, not fertile. It is very fertile. That is why plants grow in loamy soil. Fourth one, humus is mainly formed from the remains of plants, animals. It is formed mainly from the dead remains of plants. So I hope you are clear with the class. We'll meet in the next class with a new topic. Till then, thank you.